Okay guys, in this video I will talk about the basic shape of the smallest unit of any type of truss. Okay, so very basic video for the beginners and if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited. Okay, so in my last video I have discussed about the beauty of a roof truss. Okay, so this is simply a roof truss and this is also an example of roof truss and uh, i think you have also witnessed this type of truss where the truss is nothing but a form of bridge connecting these two banks okay so this is also another example of truss and if you consider other type of truss like the warren truss or the pratt truss or the k truss these are the very famous type of truss which are being used widely throughout the world okay so now if I ask you what is the common shape of the smallest unit in all type of truss? Any answer? Well, let's go back and again watch them. Okay, so this is the first one. So this is the roof truss and here you can see that the smallest unit of this truss is this one. Okay, and it is nothing but triangular in shape. Okay, so if you consider another part, well, this is the another smallest part and here you can see also this is also triangular in shape so here all the smallest part are nothing but triangular in shape now consider this one this is also another root truss this is one support and here is another support it is not visible okay so this is another support so here also if you consider the smallest unit so here this one and yes it is triangular in shape or if you consider this one this is also triangular in shape so you can consider any of the smallest element of any truss and you will find that it is triangular in shape okay so this is all about roof truss now look into this bridge okay so here also you can see that if we consider this smallest part so this is also triangular in nature or if we consider this middle one so this is also triangular in nature or this one so this is also triangular in nature okay not only this one every type of truss whether it is warren truss or pratt truss or k truss it will have a triangular shape if we consider the smallest unit right so now if i ask you what is the common shape of smallest unit in all type of truss the answer is yes this is triangular right okay so now my question is why triangular shape why it is not rectangular okay so why in each and every truss till now we have shown why all the smallest unit are triangular in shape okay so let's discuss let's say you have the smallest part as rectangle okay so let's say this is one support and this is another support okay and all the joints are hinge you know okay so if you apply the load let's say you are applying some load like this so what will happen you know that if you are given four length and if you are asked to form a rectangle then the number of rectangle you can form is unlimited yes i am repeating if you are given with four fixed length and you are asked to form the rectangle then the number of rectangle is unlimited let's say the first one is this one second one is this one third one is let's say this one so based on this angle you can form infinite number of rectangle okay what does it mean that means that the rectangle is not at all a stable shape or a rigid shape that is why whenever you are using the rectangular shape as the smallest unit of your truss and you are applying the load any type of loading what will happen simply the shape 
will collapse like this and if the basic unit is collapsed definitely your truss is not stable okay so what about the triangle yes triangle is a rigid shape why because if you are given three fixed length in that case you can form only a single number of triangle you cannot form a different triangle other than this one with this fixed length you can try this one if you have three matches okay let's say you have three matches right and with this three match stick you can form only a single triangle right so we can say that triangular shape is rigid that is why even after the application of load this shape will not collapse rather the member will be compressed or tensioned based on the nature of loading but the shape will be intact it will not collapse whereas if we use the rectangular shape in that case the shape will collapse because it is non rigid and with the fixed four length we can form infinite number of rectangle okay so this is the reason why here all the basic unit are triangular in nature okay so that's all if you love this video don't forget to share it